All right, third segment in a row. Let's see if I can do the bomb van mission first try with accommodation. I doubt it, though, because this mission was a real roadblock for me when I was a kid playing this game at the age of eight or nine. Like something out of a movie, a diabolical madman has taken the city of Ashland hostage. Four bombs have been planted at different locations around the city, each set with a timer. What's worse, this psycho has made a game of it, taunting the police at every turn. The cops will be pushed to the limits before mass destruction is unleashed upon the innocent people of Ashland. Unit 1, I have someone on the line who claims he's a terrorist. He specifically asked to speak to you. I'm patching him through. Thanks, Control. Officers, Lou Ferris is my name. Remember that, because in six, no wait, five minutes, the name Lou Ferris will forever haunt the memories of this stinking city. I have put together a little surprise for the fine citizens of Ashland. Four bombs to cleanse this city of every last pathetic person who has taken something from me. Ashland Fire Department, Main Park, Union Bank, and Lincoln Market. It will all burn. There's no way you'll make it in time. Just let it happen. Unit 1, we're running a background check on the name Lou Ferris. Over. Roger that, Control. Lou, are you still there? Of course. Mine will be the last voice you ever hear. Why are you doing this? What? Killing guilty people? Killing innocent people, Lou. They are not innocent. Oh no, not innocent at all. Each and every person in this forsaken city is guilty. And I'm handing down the sentence. A sentence of fire. Okay. So... As you, as we know, the objective here, disarm the four bombs before any of them go off. Now, um, we actually don't have a weapons panel, not that it matters since you can't shoot anything anyway. Um, this bomb van controls like ass. Uh, it might not be obvious from watching the video, but it's, it controls really awkwardly. And also, I've been practicing this mission for years, off and on. Get more and more consistent at it. Now, this mission, no matter which bomb you disarm, in no matter what order, the timer will reset to 105. So, but you have to get them in the order that I'm getting them in in this video. Otherwise, you will not make it. And what I did there was I tapped the uh, reverse brake there to give this truck absurd amounts of turning ability for a moment, just to get snapped onto the right direction. Stop. Impressive. Two more bombs to go. Of course, you'll never get to them in time. So, you could take advantage. Now, the timer doesn't start until the bomb squad dude makes it back in the van so you could take advantage of that by going as far away as possible from a bomb and then triggering the scene but keep in mind you do have to like while the guy's running to the bomb you will you will need to be mindful of time and taxi got in my way that might have cost me the accommodation I'm not sure if I really wanted to, I could have avoided that, but oh well. Also, I think you have to keep some health on your truck. Ten seconds left. Then guess what? Boom. Well, I must say, you surpassed my expectations. You still have one more to go. Good luck. Oh, and remember, the fate of Ashland is in your hands. Pleasure chatting with you. Unit 1, you're running out of time. Yep. So, gotta go this way. Gotta go this way. I'm not... I'm honestly not sure if hitting that taxi will cost me the accommodation or not. I hope it doesn't, because I don't want to replay this mission, but... It might... So do not turn left and down. Oh, that's a red herring. 
go left right here. Actually, I think this is by the courthouse. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. A great work, Unit One. With disaster averted, the city of Ashland can breathe easier. Thanks to the superhuman efforts of the police, a lunatic's murderous vision of destruction and chaos has been thwarted. Against cops like these, daring, deadly terrorists don't stand a chance. Oh, I got it. Yes! Hell yeah. This has the worst combination or reward in the game. Yeah, you can drive this bomb van in free patrol. I have no earthly idea why you'd want to do that. So next up, we have Nosy News Van, which is a bit of a difficult mission. By that I mean it's a real gatekeeper for for speedrunning. The news media can play a very important role in crime fighting. Police officers will often rely upon camera footage to help put dangerous criminals away. Sometimes, however, the media can hinder rather than help. Undercover officers prepare for surveillance of a drug deal when they discover an unwelcome guest, a news fan from the local television station. Control, we are in position at the rendezvous point, waiting for suspects to arrive. Roger, Unit 1. Wait for further instructions. What the... Control, we have spotted a news van arriving in the immediate vicinity. Our operation has been breached. Over. Let's see if I can draw them away from the area and then lose them. Let's take them for a ride. Unit 1, try to lose the tail, then return to the rendezvous point before the suspect arrives. Roger that. He's a king. So we have to get away from the, bom from the uh, news van. I was going to say bomb van. We have to get away from the news van. Sometimes if you do what I do you can cause the news van to ram into the into a lamppost directly in front of them but that's tricky to do another way you can do it is to try and do what I'm gonna try doing cause he'll just go straight I'm gonna try to lose him and then head right back to the rendezvous point okay he's off screen so that's a good thing you, he does it to be off screen for a couple seconds, for a good number of seconds. As long as I'm in this general vicinity, yep, there we go. Beautiful. Control, we're back at the rendezvous point. Over. Good work, Unit One. Hurry up. Control, suspect approaching. Transaction has been executed. Unit One, apprehend suspect. Roger. So even if you pull out your gun preemptively the gun will be put back in your holster. And you'll have to get it out manually again anyway. And combination goals are the same. This is the Desert Eagle. I have seen that guy go right there into the suburbs. I'm gonna try to finish this guy off with a machine gun. Oops. I might have gotten it. Control, this is Unit 1. We have the situation under control. Suspect is apprehended. Unit 1, roger that. Well done. Despite a nosy news van and a hot running engine gunning drug pushing pump, these undercover cops remain focused and fearless. With committed cops like these, drug smugglers will have to think twice before setting up shop 
in the city of Ashland. Engine pushing gun. Engine running gun pushing punk. Okay, nice. I got the combination. That's such a ridiculous description. And if you guys agree that that's ridiculous, keep in mind, John Bunnell was that cheesy in the actual TV show. And he also parodied his own his own commentary a couple times in Family Guy. When your cargo is an informant, you can be sure he's a hot target. Police are called upon to transport this precious commodity from prison to the courthouse. All right. So the combination goal for this mission is to finish the mission somewhere between. I, I shouldn't have been talking during that, I'm sorry, but the combination goal is to finish the mission with somewhere between 40 and 50% health. I'm not sure what the threshold is, but yeah, you have to finish it within that much health. Now watch. Now, those two black vans will follow you all through the mission until you make it to the courthouse there. Now, there's two other paths you can take. You could go up this road and go this way, or go straight and then go up and then go right here and then make go down to the courthouse. But I've tested all of those paths and the black sedans will follow you no matter which route you take. And it, those routes are slower than the one I'm taking now. So just take this route. So I'm going to try something here. Ooh, ooh. Okay. What I tried to do there, and I don't know if I succeeded. There's two cars following you. Really? Bullshit. Anyway. There are two black sedans following you. One of them has the yellow arrow in front of them. This guy just moves at incredible speeds. Faster than you can ever move. And the guy with the red arrow over him, which is represented with the red dot, will just shoot at you repeatedly. And sometimes you can get the yellow arrow dude, or the yellow car, I'm just going to say yellow car, red car, really far away to where the map will unload. And if that happens, he'll go even faster. Look at that, he's moving even faster than he was before. But if he pushes you along... You'll go faster than normal, and you will not take damage while he's rubbing up against you. Now, sometimes what can happen is he can get behind the red car and push him forward. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm getting the accommodation now. So let's try that again. Um, and if that happens, that's really bad, because not only you'll, will you be dealing with being rammed by the black sedans... Now, you'll get shot at and be rammed at the same time. Your health will drain very quickly. I'm gonna try to get like so. There we go. What I just did there was I used the civilians as meat shields. That's not a good start. I don't think I'm gonna end up getting the accommodation with this attempt. I did get screwed by that one really bad pixel though. Now unfortunately... Yeah. I'm going to try one more time, and if I don't get it on this attempt, I'm just going to cut to the successful attempt. Sometimes I get this first try, other times it takes me an eternity. 
Control, the prisoner is in the vehicle. Over. Roger that, Unit 1. Prisoner's name is Phil Bender, an informant. He's a key witness in today's trial at City Hall. Don't attract any attention. Take good care of him. Thanks for the tip, Control. We'll take good care of the cargo. Over and out. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. This car controls somewhat awkwardly, I must say. Actually, I'm gonna try and get him over on the middle. Uh, oh, you dick. Okay, I thought I could get him o over a lane or two. Oh yeah, even though control calls for immediate backup, you never see any backup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do do that, but not actually hit the wall. Yeah, okay, I'm going to cut to the successful. Alright, I think this might be a good attempt, I'm not sure. Well, the red car just rammed into the... Rammed into the thing. Also, I went through a pole. There's one kind of pole that's like... That you can just phase through. It's not actually solid. Alright, so right here, yeah, yellow car is in berserk mode right now. I'm gonna try and cause him to ram into a tree. Or something. Oh, I think I did it! Yes! See how he stopped? Like, he'll go faster in a straight line. He will not slow down. He will not reverse unless he has to. I mean, if he gets stuck on an object for long enough, he will back up. But unless he does that, he will not back up. Alright, so from this point, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to drive on the wrong side of the road and try and angle my car in such a way that if those black sedans want to get to me, they have to go through the civilians first. Because if the black sedans ram past ram uh, civilian vehicles, that doesn't count against my property damage. And right there, I just slowed down just enough to let them sail on by me. And there's the courthouse. profile informants evoke desperate measures from desperate criminals. Fortunately, this stool pigeon is protected by cops willing to sacrifice their lives in the fight against organized crime. So yeah, the combination here is silly speech, which causes characters to say, also I really should show this for at least one second, um, so I'm not sure which of these guys are supposed to be the informant. Anyway, it causes the characters to say really weird stuff instead of their normal dialogue. This does not count for John Bennell, by the way. disturbed military veteran and his militia member brother have hijacked two military tanks and are rampaging through downtown. Police are forced to use heavy weapons to slow down these road-raging siblings until the arrival of the urban assault vehicle. An armored police tank built to handle extreme and deadly situations like this one. Control, this is Unit 1. We need an update on suspect location. Please advise. Unit 1, suspect should be appearing on your city map. 
now. So, as ridiculous as this might sound, we're stopping a tank with a machine gun and a shotgun. Now, you might think it's ridiculous for the police to be stopping a tank, but this... I want to say this is very loosely based off of a chase that actually happened in the TV series. There was a chase where police had to try and stop a tank in, I believe it was Los Angeles. Oh, shit. And yeah, that's... How's that for realism? Get out of the way! I don't think the accommodation goals are standard. I... Aim at the tank, please. The accommodation goals, I want to say, is to have 30... Is, uh, have over half health with the APC specifically. Uh, now, if you get right up by the tank like this, he won't be able to hit you, but you can hit him. And also, I got access to the LAW Missile Launcher, which stands for uh -oh. Control, this is unit Light Anti-Tank we Weapon. Oh crap, I skipped dialogue. Oh. Ooh, I skipped dialogue there. You know what, I'm gonna start over anyway, because I'm not satisfied with how I handled this mission. If you're right up against the tank, it will not damage you with its tank blasts. Yeah, we can skip this. Got it. Heading for the casino area. Over. Good luck, officers. Oh, let me show this off. Here's the speed of the machine gun while you're in third person. Now here's first person. Yeah, you can see that the game is running much faster. I'm getting these bullets out much faster than normal. The faster the weapon... Now, L. Now, for those of you who don't know, Control, this is Unit One. We got him. He's out of the game. Roger that, Unit One. His brother is still in play. A police urban assault unit has arrived. Transfer to that vehicle. Over. Roger that. It stands for light anti-tank weapon, which is something I learned while streaming this one night. And one of my subscribers, Four Guys, commented in the chat that he thought that Deus Ex just made up LAW. Control, Unit 1 is changing vehicles. The LAW acronym. And then I and I thought it was made up just for this game. But the night after but like he get out of the way. He looked that up and it does actually it is a real thing. So that is an interesting tidbit about Basically, both of us discovering that LAW is actually an acronym that is actually used. Alright, so like the machine gun, this gun, the tank gun here, it's basically a heavy machine gun um, that's that fires armor-piercing rounds. And 
like the machine gun, it fires faster if you do if you go into first person. But unlike the but unlike the machine gun, you can't get right up against this guy and just fire. Or if you do, the shots will go right through him. Okay, this is different. Normally he goes straight and goes up that bridge. He normally does not go this way. But if he does, he's just gonna go around and around. And the tank cannon goes... The enemy tank cannon goes off on a timer. Got him. Got him. He's out of commission. A great work, Unit 1. When tanks run amok through crowded city streets, the cops are left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and bring out the heavy artillery. Fortunately for the city of Ashland, these dishonorably discharged deviants were stopped before the results became truly tragic. And the Accommodation Award is you get to drive the APC in this mission. Let me go back up. Now in the actual, now in the chase, the one that was on television years ago, the cop, I think what happened in that one was the tank got stuck and the cops went in were able to get in the tank and they just shot the guy in the tank. So. Officers are on the tail of a suspect involved in a prior bank robbery. There is nothing routine about police pursuits. These situations can change at any minute, and police have to be ready for anything. Okay, so luckily, what just happened there? Luckily, that does not count against you for property damage. So even though, like, we cannot kill this guy here, we do have to follow him until he gets to his end destination. Before we get to the next part of this mission. Accommodation goals are exactly the same as mission 13. Finish the level with over 40 to 50% health. Like mission 13, I do not know what the threshold is. It might be 45. And speaking of being like Mission 13, which is the two black sedans... Hey, look! Two black sedans! Hold on, what's happening? Reverse! It's an ambush! Go, go! Go, go, go. Control, this is Unit 1. We're under fire. Repeat, we are under fire. Two armed vehicles have ambushed us. We're pulling out. Unit 1, get out of there. Proceed to the nearest precinct. Sending backup. Over. So, yeah. This is exactly the same idea as Mission 13. I think they ran out of ideas. Now, we have to make it back to the police precinct, which is right there. Now, some of you might be wondering why I didn't just go... Why I don't just go straight through. Uh, either this way and down or just straight this way well arbitrarily in this mission only there are roadblocks that you cannot pass through preventing you from going the f the most direct route so yeah Yeah, you have to... Whoa, you have to go the way I'm going, or else you... Well, you just have to go the way I'm going. And let's make this jump, which in real life would probably mangle this car's... Well, mangle this car's tires, wheels, and spe... And, uh, not specs, but, uh... Shocks.
put an APB out on these criminals, even though they're at the precinct. Control, we are at the precinct. We have evaded the suspects. Over. That's good news, Unit 1. An APB has gone out on the suspects. Over. When the pursuer becomes the pursued, a police officer's perspective changes from catching bad guys to just surviving. For these officers, their extensive driving training and thorough knowledge of the streets of Ashland gave them the advantage that met the difference between life and death. <laughs> We've evaded the suspects, even though they're right behind us. So the combination reward is machine gun. You can use that in your free patrol. Now, see you guys next time for the last of the free patrol, or not free patrol, the uh, pursuit mode.